This free video clip is from masstutor.biz and massdvds.co.uk and in this video clip we're going to look at a question from this exam paper GCSE Foundation Mathematics Paper 1B which is a calculator paper and we're actually going to go through this question number 10 Now if per chance you want to see the whole of the paper or buy your... well you'll have to buy your own copy won't you? And to do that, you need to go to massdvds.co.uk or masstutor.biz. So you can buy your own copy, see the whole paper, and get a DVD that goes through everything as well. But anyway, I suppose you want to listen to this freebie now you've bothered to click on it. So let's get on with question number 10. GCSE Foundation Practice Paper 1B from MassTutor.biz and MassDVDs.co.uk Question number 10 A stamp is bought for £4,000 and each year its value increases by 6% Find the value of the stamp after one year and then after two years So let's do part A so it's going to increase in value by 6%. So the first thing I have to do is to work out what is 6% of 4,000. And as I've already mentioned, on this paper 1B, you could write that as 6 over 100, or as a decimal, and that's what I'm going to do because it's a calculator paper. 6% as a decimal actually is written like that. So 6% as a decimal is 0 0.06. So if I type, the, type this into the calculator, and I'll do it again just to make sure I haven't gone wrong. That is 6% of 4,000. So value after one year is the 4,000 plus the 240 and I think I can do that without the calculator but maybe I do with the calculator as well just to make sure I haven't made a silly slip so that's the value at the end of the first year during the second year it's going to make 6% of that so I've got to work out what is 6% of this new value again decimal because it's a calculator paper. In my opinion, that really is the easiest way of doing it. 0 0.06 multiplied by 4240 254.4. Do it again, just to make sure. Yep. So, value after two years is this value the value at the end of the first year plus the amount of money increases during that year so I can actually, actually on this calculator put answer and add on that 4240 but just to make sure let's type it in 4240 plus 254.4 always do it a couple of times just to make sure you haven't pressed any buttons wrong now let's have a closer look at what I've got here something I want to point out is words I know it's a maths exam but writing down a few words explains to the examiner what you're doing is called showing you working out there I go again with that showing you working out so writing down a few words is actually a very good idea the next thing is to appreciate that the calculator has no intelligence whatsoever it is pretty thick that is the decimal answer to the question that I typed in but it is not the answer to this in money I need to have the intelligence that it requires a naught at the end there. The calculator just does not realise that. And if you just wrote that down in the exam, it's possible you'd lose a mark. In fact, it's highly likely to use, lose a mark. That naught must be shown. 
And if you don't show it, then you are highly likely to lose a mark. OK, let's see what we've got here. We'll have a mark for working that out, the 6% in the first year, and a mark for the value at the end of the first year. We'll have a mark for working out the 6% of that, and we'll have a mark for adding that on, and then we'll have another mark if you put that naught on.